We're going to leave all the instruments and everything here when we're done, right? Yeah. One of the great gifts of Buddhism that has been for the generation of artists that I've been a part of is to help us to understand what the function of art is in the world we live in. Which has been, was a big question. As a kid, people said, what is the artist's role in society? And many people in the 60s have said, well, it was a political role. Rest in natural great peace. This exhausted mind, beaten helplessly by karma, in neurotic thoughts, like the relentless fury of the pounding waves in the infinite ocean of samsara. Rest in natural great peace. Is the artist role in society. In Europe, many artists became very uh, like communists or anarchists or whatever. It, it took a political form. Uh, uh, for me, it never took a political form. It's based on the name of God, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I think name I like of to God and Prophet Muhammad. I'd like to say people. that because people should know that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, we think that this is how uh, we have uh, uh, Smith Muhammad. Muhammad. You see, I, my feeling. I have many friends. I have my personal friends, uh, like a Fode Suso from Africa, and my even my family. They're Muslims in my family, mm. and people need to know that Muslim is spiritual, yeah. not the thing in the newspaper. It's true, you know, and so it's important. Yeah.
it was unsatisfying for me because it seemed to me that the political was simply a, a short-term strategy. To me, the issues were not political issues, but social issues. And I felt that, I've always felt that political issues were unable to, to attend to social issues because they uh, invariably formed an agenda of their own which was independent and ignorant of the social issue. It was really through uh, when I began very, very slowly to get a, 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 an understanding of, of what the Bodhi mind was, of what development of compassion was, and it took me a long time to even, even know what the words meant. was that it had to do with the relationship of the individual to the world they lived in. I think one of the reasons that Buddhism has been so successful in contemporary life is that it's given people a way of relating to their immediate social environment. In the 50s and the 60s, we had a great anxiety of the existentialists, you know, you know, this terrible, these terribly depressing books by Stockton come out, terribly, terribly depressing, and they seemed clueless about, it was all about their suffering. It wasn't about the world suffering. Let all your thoughts and emotions just quietly settle in the state of natural peace, just quietly. Just as water, if you don't stir it, it will become clear. In the same manner, the nature mind is such. If you do not alter, but leave it naturally, it will find its true peace. So, so we're, we're ready, Dan. Okay. Uh, I've been pondering for most of my life is what the relationship of music and drama is. That's a personal question. For people who don't have that, a double practice the way, uh, I, that's how I look at it. Uh, that question may never come up. I don't mean to say it's a general question. So it happens to be an intensely personal question. I consider my great music teachers to be on the level of my Dharma teachers. And I, the, the, the teaching of one and the teaching of the other has some, in my mind, has become uh, blended in a way. And yet, uh, in the same way, um, there, uh, music is still a mysterious passage for me. I had a series of dreams some years ago about music, which told me more about music than, than many other than, than my waking states, than when I saw music and I began to, I had a series of dreams which I experienced music, not in terms of sound but in terms of uh, energy, actual uh, uh, dreams about that and then, and that, and, and I began to see that something that my teachers, had, my, my Dharma teachers had told me, which I didn't understand, one of them said to me, oh, music uh, comes from a different realm. And I said, what do you mean? They said, well, it's not from this realm, it comes from a different realm.
To me, the issues were not political issues, but social issues. What the Bodhi mind was, of what development of compassion was, the bottom line was that it had to do with the relationship of the individual to the world they lived in, relating to their immediate social environment.
It's based on the name of God, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I think I'd like to God and Prophet Muhammad. I'd like to say that because people should know that.
teaching all beings to be really free of suffering and the cause of suffering. And wishing all beings to have happiness and the cause of happiness, that is love. One of the great gifts of Buddhism is to help us to understand what the function of art is in the world we live in. Which has been, was a big question. Wilt u dvd's bestellen van onze programma's? Bel dan 040 282 0022. Als u meer wilt weten over onze uitzendingen, vraag dan de gratis programmagids aan op nummer 035 677 1611. Of kijk op www.boeddhistischeomroep.nl.